Limitation on home mortgage interest deduction. The home mortgage interest deduction is one of the biggest deductions for many individuals who itemize. In other words, if we are itemizing as opposed to taking the standard deduction, one of the main things that probably allow us to do so is the interest that we pay on the home. In other words, we take out the home or we purchase the home, we have a loan on the home, and then we pay interest on the loan payments. That interest then is deductible and oftentimes significant and therefore the thing that makes the itemized deduction greater to, than the standard deduction. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Remember before we talk about this that the standard deduction has already been increased. So the diminishing of the itemized deduction, less people in other words, will be itemizing because of the format of the previous law that we've taken a look at including the increase in the standard deduction. Now we've got the home mortgage interest. The limitation isn't as extreme as we would think at first glance. In other words, what we're talking about is for a married filing jointly, a debt of 750,000. Meaning if you have the debt higher than 750,000, we can't deduct the interest on the debt above the 750,000. In the prior year, it was 1 million. In other words, we could have a loan on the home up to 1 million. Now note that this is not gonna affect many people because many people don't have a home value that's even 750,000, let alone taking out a loan on the home of the 750,000. But for those who are living in high cost of living areas or have expensive property, it's very possible to have the loan that's gonna be greater than the 750. So. For most people, for the average individual, their home is probably not going to be over 750000 and the loan on the home, the principal loan on the home, is probably not going to be over the 750000 and therefore, this component of the law shouldn't affect them too much, although the ability to itemize in the first place will probably go down given the fact that we may not be able to deduct as much of the property taxes, and the standard deduction is already increased as well. Also note, however, that 2018 suspends the deductibility of interest on home equity loans and lines of credits unless they are used to buy, build, or substantially improve the taxpayer's home. So in other words, it used to be that we, we could also, on top of the purchase of the home, spend 100000 take out a loan against the home for another 100000 deduct the interest related to it, even though we didn't put that 100000 directly into the home into things like improvements. That's what's going to be eliminated in 2018. We can no longer spend the money on something else, or a common practice would be to consolidate our debts. If we have other debts like uh, credit card debts and things like that, common practice would say, hey, let's take out a loan against the home so at least we can write off the interest on it. And that is going to be something that we can't do anymore because the idea here is that whatever the loan was for, if it's a loan against the home, if the home is collateral on the loan, the money that was taken out also has to be spent on the home in some way. It's got to be spent on improvements or something like that within the home. So you want to make sure that uh, if you have an increased loan or something like that, that you're hoping to write off the interest on going forward, then we want to make sure that it's on, on the home. And to do that, you want to record and keep track of records to make sure we know what the spending of the money was that we took out and put the loan as collateral on. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.